Hello. Hello. Another review. Another with, review. With my guest, Quino. Yes. Um, and this one is Pietra. Ooh. Pietra. Pietra Cosa. Uh, ooh, Castagna. Uh, Spanish? Just take it up. French. French. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, it's all in French. So I can't read off the bottle. So just put that there for now. Um, I'm not very cosmopolitan. I know. <laughs> um, right. Pietra. To, to... Let's, have a, let's have a read. Yeah, it's all in French. Oh, yeah. So you can't even really no. say what's in it unless you can speak French. Ah. No, I, I, I can't. I... It's brewed on the island of Corsica. No, hang on. No, no, no. There's English. It's from Corsica. There is English, because of course it's imported, so there should be some English somewhere. So, water, barley malt, chestnut flour. Chestnut flour, interesting. Hops. Yeah, it yeast. talks about that. Ah, chestnut flour. I'm, I'm intrigued by this. Okay, and, so, Cor and Corsica, you said. It's from Corsica. Ah, First brewed okay. in 1996. Um, it's, it's the biggest beer brand in Corsica. Um, <laughs> That's a boast. Yes. Ooh. Um, they're determined to utilise typically coarse ingredients and flavours. It's a dark lager. A dark lager. Well, I'm quite, that's good. I quite like dark lagers. Um, but it can be also described as a chestnut beer. Chestnut flour is not merely a flavouring. It is actually incorporated into the mash to provide fermentable sugars. Uh, as little as the island of Corsica is suitable to arable farming, chestnuts have long been milled into flour. In fact, 85% of the yearly harvest is made into chestnut flour. So there you go. Well, I love chestnuts. Oh, good. Especially at Christmas with some Brussels sprouts. Excellent. And some butter. Well, apparently, according to the tasting notes, this pours a deep copper colour with a thick white head of large bubbles. Uh, the aroma is malty. Mm. The flavour is primarily malty with some integral nutty sweetness and low bitterness. It is well balanced and has a smooth mouthfeel. Some fruitiness is evident in the finish. Okay. Right. Let's see um, if the truth lies within. Indeed. A design is... Interesting, never been to Corsica. Presumably the little it's... house thing is something known in Corsica. Again, there's some gold medals. It's yeah, gold every, everything's won a gold medal. I don't know who gives out these gold medals. Every beer yeah, we've had so far has won a Even gold medal. Even Cobra's won a gold medal. Right. A Bombardier won a gold medal. Gold medal for being shit. <laughs> Good. Ba boom Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to guess this is not bottle conditioned. Doesn't look like much for dark lager, if you ask me. Um... It's well. It's dark in the sense it's not not as light as normal, light as lager, but it's certainly not exactly Budvar dark. By the way, six percent. Six percent. Oh, okay. You're trying to get me drunk tonight, James. <laughs> I told you before, it's a magical mystery tour of beer. Right. Very high ABV beers. Um, again, um, whether this is whether this is this, let's look. I think James has got a bit of an issue with his pouring technique here. No, it's because I get the last bit. He's, look, he's, look at the head on that, and this is... It's got a lot to learn. He's only done a few. He's only done a few. doesn't smell of anything. The lagers generally smell of nothing anyway. No, that's true. This smells even less than uh, the Sagres that we had earlier, and that smell of almost nothing. Right. But there was a lot of flavour in that one, so Cheers. let's see what we get. That's, that's not too bad. Mm. It doesn't have anywhere near the amount of mellow, rich flavours you would expect from a chestnut beer or something that purports to be faintly chestnut. But it's certainly got multi, quite a lot of character to it. It's a very malty lager. Mm. Like the maltiest lager I've ever had. I'm, trying, I'm sitting here thinking, can I taste the chestnuts? I can't. No, I have to admit, I can't. I, well, I've never had a beer that tasted nuts before. So. Well, actually, no, I have. No, we have. Yeah, we have. The, uh, the, old, the old Rebellion roasted nuts. Yeah, the roasted that, that, is a, that is a good beer in terms of a nutty flavour. Well, that's not brewed with nuts, though, is it? Or is it? Um, I don't know. It always tastes quite nutty to me. What was that one that Ascot did a few years ago? The cob beer. Cob nut beer. That was really nice. Mm. I don't think I had that. Yeah, that was lovely. This is not bad. Actually, I'm, I'm I'm quite a fan of this in a kind of Euro beer way. 
Yeah, as, not, as in, I don't normally drink a huge amount not, of stuff. That's, it's not it's like not a bad. lager, is it? I mean, no. I mean, actually, if you look at it, it's got very, very little carbonation. Like, no, the, uh, yeah, it's, that's very, very. Still. That's that's quite true. The um, so, you know, the ones that we drank earlier, you could see yeah. the bubbles rising through the glass. There's no, there's no bubbles. No, this is really. This. It's not carbon. Not uh, carbon which, which certainly, as a confirmed car scale drink, I'm quite pleased. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there is some. I've you been belching horribly bit. off off camera the last couple of times we've drunk these earlier on this evening. But I should be alright after this one. Yeah, I mean it's um maltiness sort of um a bit of fruitiness, but not lots. Mm. Um yeah, it's it's pretty pleasant. If I if I was in Corsica or France and Came across this when I was out and about. I'll be, I'll be fairly, I'll be fairly pleased with that purchase. Apparently, it's sold in Quebec as well. Cause it's got, um, it's got a price for Quebec, so ah, which would make sense, I suppose. Big yeah. French export market going up to the Quebecois. I think, I mean, in terms of the design, I think it's quite a boring looking beer. Well, the the design, I think, looks. Um, hold it up to the camera. I know. Okay. Oh. I, I think it looks sort of very um, Eastern. You know, it's sort of Latvian, Lithuanian. It looks very yeah, kind of post-communist block. I tell you what, it does remind me of with the the typeface. It looks like the sort of typeface you find in the Asterisk, sorry, Asterix comics. <laughs> um, not Asterisk comics because because no one make a comic about an, uh, about a, uh, a I'm sh- character. I'm sure. I'm sure hipsters probably probably done it by now. But yeah, no, it, it looks like very much the typeface is is the same they use. Um, in the comics, so mm-hmm. must be a French thing. Was yeah, Asterisk, maybe was it Asterisk French. French. Yeah, yeah. Asterix, sorry. Asterix was indeed French. Yes, I keep thinking Belgium, but that's that's t- oh, it's Tintin, isn't it? Yeah, Asterix and Obelisk. Was it no? It's Obelix. Obelix. Obelisk is were, a big. Were Gauls? Hey. From um from which is modern day France. Gauls, yeah. But they did go to Gauls. Why, 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 why were the why did the Romans? Um, never beat asterisk and blitz. Don't know though. because away Gauls count double in Europe. It's a foot, he doesn't miss a foot, but I think it's quite good. Well, this beer review's over. Um, I've killed the beer review. Yeah, ah! uh, we'll close it off here. Okay. Um, don't forget to like my channel, I like it, subscribe, comment, do it now. 